Hello YouTube, welcome curious minds and eager learners to the quick tech guidelines. Today we are going to learn an amazing Microsoft Excel function which is a filter function. So let's just not waste more time and get to the computer screen and see what we have to learn today. So I have a final holiday bonus file over here in the Microsoft Excel which shows that which employees from which department and which designation with base salary X got the bonus Y. So this is the bonus, all right. And these are department, name, employee ID, base salary. I need to filter it via department. So I'll use this department here and the rest of the filtered details will be appearing here, okay. In order to do this, let's just first see that our departments are getting repeated so I need the unique count of the departments. What I'll do here is select all the department column, copy it, put it in the book one, another book of Microsoft Excel, I'll use go to the data button, okay, and use the remove duplicates option, select all, all right, department, okay, and 61 values so this these are the unique departments okay I'll copy them coming back to the main file so I'll paste them as the values over here okay now I want the details here in K15 cell and in order to use it a dy dynamic menu or a drop down menu I'll click on the data again and go to the data validation panel so I want to select the source over here from where it will be taking the source and I'll be able to change it so I'll change the color of the text to white so that other won't be able to see this so I have a dynamic button over here where I'll be able to select the multiple departments all right so i have already used the formula but i'll reuse it to show you that how we had done it so technical admin sales and operation first of all i'll use is equal to button and then type f-i-l-t-e-r filter button i'll use the select uh, tab button to select it okay first i'll have to select the array I've selected all the array from where I want it to look at. This is basically table one. I'll select a table one, comma, include what? Include department. Okay. Department that should be equal to this K15, which I'll be able to change later on. Comma. And I'll use this double commas over here just in case if the function doesn't find the valid references then it will leave the cell blank okay and i'll close the parentheses and press enter and boom i'll paint the format i'll paint the format till end of the range so that we will be able to see the same format okay For example, I have a sale department people over here and there are total 59 people from the sales and if I want to filter some other department people, I'll simply use the drop down menu over here. I'll select admin. Okay. These are the three people from the admin which got with the designation technician, cook and admin officer. Marion Andrew, Peter and Michael Foley, they got a $50, $50 bonus for the holiday season. And if I select technical, in from technical there are two people, John Zampa and Cynthia, yeah, engineer and IT professionals from my technical team. And where Cynthia got $50 holiday bonus and John Zampa got $50. So it's pretty easy and it's very useful, especially when you're working on large data and you want to filter something really special and want 
to reuse it multiple times for example i want to check from hr so i'll select simply hr and all instead of going here going to data and using filter buttons and by manually filtering without touching the main data i'll be able to see the filter function doing my work so that's pretty much all about this if you have got any questions or you got any problem to apply this on your data which you might be working on thousands of records and this would be very helpful for you tell me in the comments that which problems are you facing right now i love to see all your comments and i read all the comments and i'll reply all the comments and also tell me from which part of the world you're watching this video have a great day bye bye